Hi there, this is Ashley Fai. My ethnic and cultural background uh, is a, a bit mixed. It has some South American and some straight from California's uh, white folk. Um, this is my friend, Denise. She is African American. Uh, her age range is 35 to 45. She has her bachelor's and her master's uh, she was a librarian and is going to start as a testing coordinator at her school. Um, so let me start with some of these questions. Please describe the most important values and beliefs of your culture. Okay, so when I think about my culture, um, I am African American, but I'm also, uh, my family is from the South mm -hmm. in America. So a lot of our culture or things that I would say about our culture or values stem from that. Um, I grew up Southern Baptist, mm -hmm. so that has a lot to do with our values, um, you know, our belief and faith and right. family and that kind of thing. And then um, just being Southern, I think just the way we are, it influences mm -hmm. the way we eat, mm -hmm. the kind of foods mm -hmm. that we prefer, um, the way that we talk, <laughs> um, and different things like that. So I, I feel like that those are the most important, right. probably would be... Um, Family, faith, right. food. Right, good. <laughs> the three Fs. Yeah. All right, so uh, along those same lines, please describe impor important cultural events, celebrations, and practices. So again, um, mm -hmm. because we are American, <laughs> um, we celebrate the traditional celebrations that pretty much everybody does, right. at, or everybody that we know, right. um, Thanksgiving, Christmas, birthdays, right. 4th of July, that kind of thing. Right. Um, I know that there are people that celebrate um, days like Kwanzaa mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. Juneteenth. Mm -hmm. I personally don't, and no one that I know, my family doesn't, or, right. or anybody that we hang around. Uh, but I know that those are cultural celebrations sure. that are associated with African Americans. Sure, just not ones that you celebrate. Mm -hmm. So what are some reading materials, films, or videos that can help us learn about this culture? Well, uh, in terms of literature, I think that The Color Purple is a really good one, um, yeah. the book and the movie. Right. Um, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, the book by Maya Angelou, right. anything by her right. is excellent, um, really speaks to African American culture. Uh, more modern African American mm -hmm. culture, I think the Cosby Show mm -hmm. uh, really shows what a typical middle class, upper middle class African American family is like, or blackish. Right. Oh, I love um, blackish. Yeah, and I, to me, those are more what I feel like represents my yes. own culture, um, or the culture of people, my family, and people that we know. Right, and they were groundbreaking because people didn't think perhaps of black families as being like the Cosbys. Yeah, I think they thought of it more as good times. Good times, exactly. Which you know mm -hmm. was some were yeah. <laughs> probably <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but not all. But yeah. not all, exactly, yeah. So that's kind of the same thing. How do you think others outside of your culture view your culture? Um, I think depending on how much exposure they've had mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. African Americans, sure. um, some of them, if they don't know any personally, may yeah. think that what they've seen in a movie or on TV is, right. uh, is what every African American is like. Right. So um, I've heard or had people make comments about everything from like boys in the hood yes <laughs> to good times that's not what your um, neighborhood's like no it's oh, not okay okay <laughs> um or even uh i would you know i told you a yes. story one time about on mlk day i had gone to brunch uh because we were out of school mm -hmm. it was a school mm -hmm. holiday and the waitress had asked me you know if i was working that day and i said no and she said, oh, well, it's MLK Day, you know, mm -hmm. what do you do to celebrate this? And I was just looking at her like, I don't know. Yes. I, what do you do to celebrate it? Right. <laughs> right. So um, I think just the stereotypical yes. things that people sometimes tend to think is um, kind of how they tend to right. do it, how depending on their it. experience. Yeah. So what are some of the fondest memories you have from your childhood? Probably the same memories anybody else mm -hmm. has, celebrating birthdays, right. Christmas, um, Thanksgiving, spending time with family and friends, right. and, um, doing the normal things that people do when right. they celebrate.
celebrate together. Right, from any culture. culture. Right. Mm -hmm. Have you ever experienced prejudice or discrimination? Absolutely. I Not every day, right. not in, on any grand scale, but sure, yeah. you know, people that automatically assume things. I've been in stores where I've noticed that if I stood a little too close, someone may have pulled their oh, bag really? a little closer <laughs> or something like that. Yikes. Um, and I'm sure that they weren't even, maybe, maybe they were aware, I don't know. Right. I like to think that they weren't. Right. Um, but I've definitely had things like that happen to me Just before. feelings that you get mm -hmm. from others. So given what has happened in recent events, what do you think can be done about prejudice and discrimination? Really, I think just people getting to know each other. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, when you think that something's scary or intimidating and you actually encounter it. Sure. I think it, you realize that it may not be what you thought it was. Sure. And kind of like when we were talking about people that think all black people are this way yeah, or a certain way. whatever, mm -hmm. um, having exposure to other people and learning about other cultures and talking to other people yeah. about their culture and, and participating in maybe things that are outside of your culture sure. so that you have an appreciation for other people. Yeah, that's good. Uh, what do you think is the biggest misconception about your culture? Definitely the violence, um, that we're, we're not intelligent, right. that we're lazy. Mm -hmm. Those would be probably the biggest the ones. The biggest <laughs> ones, yeah. That's unfortunate. As religious, ethnic, and cultural diversity increases in our society, what do you think schools can do to better prepare students to interact with others who are different from themselves? The exact same things we were talking about. Actually discussing race. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I, I think it... it does a disservice not to discuss it or to right. pretend like it doesn't, it doesn't exist. exist right um and talk about different things that happen but also talk about the different celebrations and the different uh things that have happened in history to yeah. bring us to this point um and just you know being accepting of others as a school yeah. so that you're not only celebrating um american holidays sure. but also celebrate some non-American yeah. holidays, right. um, you know, don't just uh, celebrate Christian holidays, yeah. but also right. acknowledge and do the celebrations for other, other types of religious holidays. Right. So. Right. All right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your help Absolutely. with this. Absolutely. No problem.